This is the Keymove K68, which is a wireless 65% mechanical keyboard, and it literally makes you want to carry it along wherever you want to go. So time to find out if the K68 talks straight out of the box. So the Keymove K68 has a 65% form factor, which can be thought of as your usual 60% keyboard, along with the arrow keys and a couple of the cursor control keys. So you get 68 keys in total, hence the name K68. It also means that you don't get the function row keys, which can be a bummer for some, but it does make the keyboard feel sleek and stealthy, which I really like. In terms of connectivity, the K68 is a tri-mode keyboard, which means that you can connect it via Bluetooth 5.1, the included 2.4 GHz wireless dongle, or by using the traditional Type-C cable. Alright, now the K68 supports both Windows and Mac, and it's very easy to switch between the two by using this toggle switch onto the left. Below that is your mode toggle to switch between Bluetooth, the 2.4 GHz wireless mode, or wired mode. The wired mode is also used to turn off the keyboard by the way. Now Keymove has done quite a good job with the packaging of this keyboard. Opening up the box reveals the keyboard, the keycap puller, a braided Type-C cable, the 2.4 GHz dongle, and of course the user manual. Now sadly you don't get any switch pullers inside of the packaging, but you can get one of these combo pullers that Keymove will happily sell to you for 15 bucks only. The build quality of the K68 is pretty decent. It's mostly made out of ABS plastic with the only exception of the metal plate over the PCB. The keycaps are double shot PBT with light pass through and these provide a good feel for your fingers as you type along. The keyboard also has a slight heft to it of around 650 grams, which I would say is pretty decent. Now I personally prefer keyboards that are quite heavy and built like a tank, like my TH80 Pro for example from EpoMaker. But you have to understand the demography that the K68 is targeted towards. The K68 is mainly targeted towards portability, and it makes sense in that aspect because you probably don't want to carry along a keyboard that weighs like a mountain. Now this keyboard being low profile, it does lay really flat on your desk, and I always ended up using the standoffs for better ergonomics. And here I'm happy to say that the rubber feet on the standoffs do a great job of keeping the K68 steady as you're typing along by preventing any slip-offs. Now speaking of the keycaps, these are DSA profile double shot PBTs, the legends are clean and I don't have too much to complain about. The K68 is a heaven for RGB nerds, and to be honest I haven't found any keyboard that offers so much RGB lighting. The LEDs are your usual north facing ones so you can use any keycaps with this keyboard and not have to worry about the light being blocked off. The white metal plate under the keycaps is also ideal for maximum light bounce off so you're getting a very good experience with the RGBs. And to add to the goodness, there's a full strip of RGB that runs all along the bottom side of the keyboard. The strip lighting can be controlled independently so you can actually do pretty unique level of customization with the K68 in terms of RGB. Now the K68 is a fully hot swappable mechanical keyboard and it provides you with inputs for either 3-pin or 5-pin mechanical switches. From Kimu's official website, you have the option to select between Cherry and Gateron switches and I personally got mine with Gateron reds which are linear and silent AF. Typing on the K68 is pure bliss, especially with the Gateron red switches and you get kind of an Agent 47 silent assassin vibe if you know what I mean. In terms of gaming, the keyboard does have N-key rollover which is quite good However, I definitely would not recommend red switches for gaming and would lean you towards getting Gateron Browns or even Cherry Browns. The K68 does come with a 3000 mAh battery which is good enough for a 10 day backup with the RGB switched on. Alright, now let's talk about the most important aspect for any mechanical keyboard, the typing experience. The K68 does come with silicon pad dampening which aid in sound absorption and there's lubrication in both the keys as well as the stabilizers. So now is the time to find out how good this thing sounds. Take it away. Okay, so summing things up, I feel that the K68 from Keymove is actually quite a decent offering and it lives up to its title of being a compact lightweight mechanical keyboard that I'm sure many of you guys would prefer using as your daily driver. It's definitely a great option for people who love to multitask as well as do some light gaming and practically any other scenario you can think of thanks to its lightweight nature and its portability. Alright, so that is pretty much it for this video and I hope you guys found it useful or at least entertaining in some way. So I'd really appreciate if you could hit that like button and let me know in the comments down below which form factor of keyboards you guys prefer to use in your daily lives. And as always, a sub to the channel would always mean the world to me. Now I understand that the 65% form factor is not for everyone, 
So probably this particular video might interest you or this one.